Hey guys and welcome back to another Takeinter video. In this video, we'll take a look at the photo image module in Takeinter. It's used to basically uh, import images into Takeinter into a format that you can use with Takeinter's widgets, like the label and the button. So basically, you're importing the image in Takeinter. You're going to turn it into an image object that you can use with other widgets. All right. So let's begin. Uh, I've included the bare minimum of code over here because there's no need to, you know, overcomplicate things because photo image is actually really really simple it's just one or two lines of code all right so we'll do image is equal to photo image bracket open file is equal to now I, I just downloaded a random image off the internet all right all right random.png it's in the same directory as my Python file on it's on desktop, uh, which is why I don't have to include the full path. Otherwise, uh, let's say this this was in C drive, all right? I would do this, all right? But since it's not, I'm just gonna write the name of the file and the extension. Let me run this. All right, it runs, which means that the uh, it the image was loaded successfully. Takeinter can be a little, you know, iffy on what types of images are supported and what types are not. So um, you might want to take a look at that. You might want to, you know, test out your image first because this image was actually not working for me previously. Uh, it was a JPG, you know, previously. I had to convert it to a PNG for it to actually work. Uh, that probably doesn't apply to all of them, so, so yeah. Okay, so how do we actually display this, uh, this, this, this image? Because now this is the image object basically. So it's pretty simple. You just go over here, image is equal to image, and run this. All right, sorry, I did not pack that in. Okay. You don't have to do this on a separate line, you can just do it like this. Okay, and there you go. There's our image. See? The label is most often used. To actually display this image uh, because it's like a you know you can put text and put in, put whatever in it just indiscriminately all right it's a pretty handy thing it's a pretty handy way of displaying things and take not not just text let's take a look at the button yes we can put images in buttons as well now let's just um, okay let's just run this run it like this first Okay, you can see that that this is basically a giant button now. Uh, let me show you something else interesting though. Text is equal to, that looks like a stop sign, right? So let's just put text is equal to stop. Okay, that didn't work out, hold on. I'm pretty sure I know why. It's because the image is basically writing itself over the text. So if I pack this into the side, left okay there we go so yeah or let's go with right actually that'll look better okay yeah now honestly i should resize the image a bit to make it a bit smaller but uh, you get the point right uh, you can actually put text and uh, images on the button at the same time and it'll look pretty decent as well it's actually pretty common because uh, let's say you want to you know open something right it there's usually a little you know folder sign next to it so you know it's a very it's actually very common to use images and text on buttons at the same time okay so that's pretty much it honestly you can actually use photo image in a whole bunch of other places you can use them in canvases you can use them in the take inter text widget as well and, and I think that that's about it um, I actually include links to both of them in the description below, so you can check them out if you want. It's a bit more complicated over there. You need to actually draw it in the case of the canvas, and you need to actually go around inserting it in the case of the text widget. So yeah, if you want to see more content like this in the future, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and otherwise I'll see you in the next video.